<sighs> What'd I tell you? The best bowl of ramen you can get in all of Ionia. What can I say? Honestly, I haven't had a bowl quite like it in all of my years. Now, didn't you promise me a story as payment? What was it? Runekeeper? I did indeed. I have the perfect one in mind. About a young girl whom herself loves a good bowl of ramen. Akali was born into the order of the Kinko. To her mother, Mayam Tete, the renowned fist of the shadow. And her father, Tang. Raising her within the Kinko order, under the leadership of the great Master Kusho. When her parents would leave or be called away, it was the members of the order who stepped in to act as her surrogate family. Kenan, the heart of the Tempest, spent many hours with the young girl, teaching her shuriken techniques and emphasizing speed and agility over power. She was a precious child, who soaked up knowledge like a sponge. It was clear to all that she would follow in her mother's path. Along with Shen, she would usher in a new generation dedicated to preserving Ionia's balance. But balance can be fleeting. A former student named Zed returned to the temple with his army of shadow warriors in tow. After claiming the life of the great master Kusho, once Eye of the Twilight, Zed set about transforming the temple into a dark training ground for his merciless Order of the Shadow. Meanwhile, Akali, Mayim, Shen, and Kenan, along with a handful of other acolytes, fled into the eastern mountains. Shen took up the mantle of Eye of the Twilight, intending to rebuild what had been lost and restore balance to Ionia. They would return to the Kinko's three fundamental philosophies. The pure, unbiased way of watching the stars. The passage of judgment in coursing the sun. And the elimination of imbalance by pruning the tree. Even with only a handful of them remaining, they would take on and train neophytes to restore and grow their numbers once more. Akali dived into her training, coming of age to fully enter the Kinko Order. She was determined to succeed her mother as the new Fist of the Shadow, mastering any weapon she put into her hands, proving in time that even though she did not possess any of the magical abilities her fellow acolytes did, she was worthy of the title. In time, allowing her mother to step down and mentor the younger generation. Cold steel and a target are all I need. She grew restless as time went on. Though an accord had been struck with the Order of Shadow, Ionia continued to suffer. Meditation would ease her spirit, but it did nothing to stop those who threatened the sacred balance. She began to argue with Shen, even defy him. She began to take down Ionia's enemies, her way. It's who I am. Get used to it. In front of the whole order, she would declare her independence. Ionians were dying here in the martial realm. The hell with all this talk of spiritual balance. It was those dying before her eyes that she would defend. Shen would let her go without so much as a word. For he knew that she needed to walk this path alone. Perhaps it would return her to the Kinko. One day. I work alone. It's better for everyone.